your host for Motor Week, John Davis. Well, hello and welcome again to Motor Week. We're glad to have you with us. The last year has been an amazing time for Volkswagen. Not only is the new Beetle the first cult car of the next century, but the all-new Passat show that even in traditional family cars, VW is capable of industry-leading design and build quality. But the year's not over, and VW is looking to repeat that performance with its fourth-generation Jetta sedans and golf hatchbacks. The new Jetta is here first, and VW says it's a car that redefines the compact car class. Now that's a boast that just begs looking into. The Jetta is Volkswagen's most popular U.S. model. So the engineers tasked with designing the all-new 1999 Jetta faced serious pressure to make it a top-notch product. But that pressure eased somewhat with the enthusiastic response to its big stablemate Passat and fun-loving sibling, the new Beetle. Ease since the Jetta shares a lot with each. Its shape, design, philosophy, and many of its features are like Passat. While it's built on the same fourth generation A platform as the new Beetle, not to mention the latest Golf, Audi's A3, and the forthcoming Audi TT sports car. There is also the obvious family resemblance to the Passat. Both offer a look that is sleek and beefy. Certainly a German soap bar, but one made of solid steel with a giant chrome VW crest front and center. And solid it is. Like the Passat, the Jetta is built to what Volkswagen claims are the tightest tolerances it has ever used. Tolerances held together by advanced laser welding and super advanced adhesives. It rides on a longer 98.9 inch wheelbase yet is shorter overall than last year's car. Width has increased by 1.6 inches and height by just under an inch, while weight for the base GL jumps 263 pounds. Moving it all is an improved 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that makes 115 horsepower and 122 pound-feet of torque at a lower 2600 RPM. It's standard in both GL and GLS grade cars. Optional late in the model year will be a second four-banger shared with the new Beetle. It's VW's 1.9-liter direct-injection turbo diesel that makes 90 horsepower but 155 pound-feet of torque. But standard right now in the top-line GLX and optional in our GLS test car is Volkswagen's potent VR6, a 2.8-liter narrow-angle V6 that for 1999 makes 174 horses and 181 pound-feet of torque. Like the gas for the VR6 now delivers peak power sooner. That power is fed to the front wheels through either our car's standard five-speed long throw manual transmission or an available four-speed automatic. On the test track, the combination of VR6 and manual shifter delivers a swift zero to 60 time of seven seconds. The quarter mile flashes by in 15.5 seconds at 93 miles per hour. As always, the VR6 engine is a spirited piece of machinery. Low-end power delivery, long a complaint from some of our staff, is definitely improved. But it's around 4,000 RPM that this torquier VR6 really hits its stride. With its new chassis and a heavily revised suspension, the latest Jetta sedan is a far cry from its predecessor. The feel is solid and sports sedan tight with a responsiveness that rivals a pure sports car. Front push is much reduced from last year, while the rack and pinion steering is quick with excellent feel. Braking follows a similar pattern, delivering average stops of 113 feet from 60 with the standard anti-lock equipped disc. Stability is rock solid, nosedive minimal, and pedal feel plentiful. In real-world driving, the Jetta exhibits a firm but never harsh ride, while the wide power band of the VR6 makes it much easier to drive in traffic than the peaky screamer of previous years. The new Jetta is not only easier to drive, but also much easier to live in, thanks to an airier, more upscale cockpit with a host of new standard features like side impact airbags. Interior materials, especially dash plastics, are true luxury car grade. In fact, the optional leather seats in our GLS would not be out of place in an Audi or Mercedes. Like the Passat, you get a big handle for height adjustment, which is standard for driver and passenger. A tilt and telescoping steering wheel is standard too. While some of our folks felt that seats very firm, they will hold you in place for the spirited driving Jetta delivers. And all like the adjustable armrest, another Passat touch. The sparse but very large analog gauges offer funky blue neon style lighting like that of the new Beetle. The center stack is full of Passat style hardware from positive close air vents to super simple stereo and ventilation controls. 
AC is standard on the Jetta now, as is an allergy and odor filter. But unlike the Passat and the Jetta, these systems are set too low and thus harder to adjust while in motion. On the other hand, secondary switch gear like seat heaters are set too high. Rear passengers will be concerned with space. It's at a premium, as it is in all other compact sedans we've tried. All three back seaters will be protected with shoulder belts and adjustable headrests. And the standard split folding seat back has a valet lock. We would gladly trade some of the generous 13 cubic feet of trunk space for a bit more rear seat room, but VW did design this area wisely. Rain gutter trunk hinges don't rob cargo room. Of course, all of our compliments and criticisms mean nothing if a car is not priced within the means of its target buyers. For 1999, Volkswagen has raised the Jetta GL's base price to $17,225. The GLS starts at $18,175 with the four-cylinder engine, $20,475 with the available VR6, while the GLX with its standard VR6 and full luxury accommodations rolls out of the gate for $24,025. That's well above the price of most compact competitors and raises the possibility of Volkswagen simply pricing itself right out of the market that it wishes to dominate. But in its defense, the new Jetta is more lavishly equipped and more solidly built than anything else in its class. Automobile Magazine said that it feels like a luxury car in miniature, one that they think is better built than a Cadillac. Only time will tell if buyers are willing to pay Volkswagen's price for this, in most ways, superb little sedan. But those that do will get a machine that's not so much at the head of its class as in a class by itself. Coming up, show cars on the street.